guys, how's everybody doing today? You guys already know it's ground, but that means it's kitchen talk time. So let's just hop into it. Let's just get to it. I ain't gonna keep you too long, okay? Well, I'm kind of tired today. Uh, just getting back from the gym, hopped in the shower, so I can try to get myself together just a little bit to talk to y'all. But I had a I had a conversation while I was at the gym with this, this, this uh, little older, a little bit older than I am lady. And she was just saying how, you know, she really enjoyed being able to get back out again and to really, um, you know, spend some time around people. She had had a couple of life things that has been going on with her where she was, um, you know, dealing with some health things and dealing with family things. And she, she was just saying that she thought once she got to a certain age that life would be a little bit more calmer or easier or less complicated or you know all that so i was just thinking about you know what she was saying and i just um you know was thinking about how important it is to have peace in your space in 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 in, in you you know peace it should be a requirement that we require from anyone in our circle that's around us if they can't bring us peace and um positivity that we may need to put some space between us and whoever that that person even if it's a family member you know because i was looking at her and she was saying how it, you know with everything that's going on with her health and different people and her family and this and that she just just really wanted some quiet time for herself she said quiet time so she you know got out to come into the gym and even though she's exercising and moving this was like quiet time for her and i understand that you know we all need that quiet time we all need that peace that space that positivity and you have to set those boundaries you know even with uh with family members you have to set those boundaries like look you know, I need my speed, my my space. I need my peace of mind. I need to have this time to myself. You know, if you have to set your timer, you know, you know, pick a day during the week that you're just you're not going to be on your devices. You're not going to be on your phone. You're not going to answer the phone. And that's not saying that you're being mean or you are you just being rude to someone. No, you know, you you set those boundaries. And you pick, you know, pick this time that that that's gonna mean a re, re, rejuvenating you, you, you know, putting energy back into yourself, putting that positivity um, flow back into your space. You know, take that time. You know, let the, let whoever it is know. Let the whole family know. Look, my phone is gonna be off between this time and this time because I don't I don't want to talk. I don't want to, you know, really be bothered. And I'm not trying to be rude. But I just need, this is my downtime. This is my downtime. You know, so I think sometimes we have to do that. And a lot of times when it comes to family, you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to be there for them or feel like you're not there for them. And you, you, you tend to always have that open availability. And it's not what you need at that time. You know, it's not like, it's not what you need. So sometimes we have to close that availability a little bit, just a little bit. You know, I'm not saying cut yourself off from the world, become a hornet, just 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 stay in your house and, and not communicate with anybody. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is to get that peace, that peace of mind where you could just hula. You have to set those boundaries, and you know, and and even with that. Those boundaries are going to help to keep to improve your health because whatever she's going with, and she did not go into details, I could read between the lines, that all that situation could have a big impact on what's going on with her health, with her not even realizing because she's trying to fulfill all these other things around her. And now she has gotten to the point where now she got to deal with her health and this and that. And the only way she feels like she can get peace of mind is to leave her house and get out. And like I said, we was in a, in a, in a class and the music was playing. But, you know, that was her piece for that hour that we was there. You know, so you have to be able to, um, you know, set those boundaries. 
and set the expectations, your expectations of what you will and will not accept. And it's not about being selfish. It's not about being rude. It's not about being uh, unattainable or being there all the time for someone. It's about you. It's about you. You have to take that time. That is also a part of your self-care, taking that time and pouring into yourself the what you need. You know, you got all these different ingredients, all these different things, and you, and you need to put all that into one pot for yourself. And that's just that's just what it is. So I, you know, I was thinking about that on the way back home, and I'm like, you know what? Um, sometimes I feel like I need a little space, but when I feel like I need a space, I take it. And you know, the people around me understands that. You know, they understand that. And you know, even Dad. I just want to go in the room and close the door and be in there. He cool with that. You know, he, he does. He gave me that space, you know, but that's the understanding I have with my people around me, you know, and sometimes it's a little harder for other people to set those boundaries. Like I said, because they don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or they don't feel like they're valuable enough. They don't feel like they're important and everything. And they put themselves at the bottom of the list and until uh, something kick in, like the health start uh, going down or they start feeling some kind of way or they they so drained where they don't even, you know, know what to do or they start getting in a depressed mode or all these other negative things start taking place, then they, they get to the point where, you know, I need to do this or do that. Don't let yourself get to that point. Don't get to the point where you're so stressed out or you are so... Um, right there on the edge of depression because once you get there you know it's a lot harder to get yourself out of it to pull yourself out of it and put yourself back in a good space you should always be in a good space with yourself with yourself you should always have peace within your yourself your immediate surrounding of yourself you know whatever it is you know like i said be there i i try to be there for my family i want to be there for them but it's, you, you have to look at all this craziness that's going on in this world on top of just dealing with daily stuff. Some stuff that just pops up because life be life and y'all hear me? Things just pop up out of nowhere. I be like, what the hell? What, what's going on? What, what is it? What You know, I just be like, oh, Lord, what is it? What is it? So you have to <clears throat> take that time. You have to take that time, sit those boundaries. <clears throat> you know, sometimes shit out all those distractions or, or anything, you know, and like I said, before you do all that, just let people know, you know, just let them know, I need this time to myself. I need to just wind it down and, you know, wind it down. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to not be okay for someone else at the moment. You know, it's okay. You have to first, you know, as I've said many times before, you got to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. You know, if you're not 100% and you're trying to take care of somebody else, then you're not going to be able to put into that person what you really need to. Are you going to be just continually draining yourself? It's not even worth it, man. Life is so short. It's too much. It's too much stuff going on in this world, you know? You got to just do that, you know? And that was, you know, it's a good little conversation. And I just basically sit there and listen to her. I asked her how did she enjoy the class, and she just went from there. So I guess she just needed someone to kind of uh, vent to that day, today. And I was the person by just simply asking her how did she like the class. That opened it up for her to get off of her chest or say whatever she needed to say. And like I said, she didn't go into deep, deep details but enough that I could read between the lines and I was able to just let her vent and listen to her. And at the end of our conversation, I was like, well, I'm so sorry that, you know, you've had, you have had to deal with uh, those things. I pray, I would pray that things get better. And I told her to have a blessed day. And she smiled and she said, you too, you have a good day. And I said, okay. And that, you know, I think that, I think that really, meant something to her because I gave her that space to talk 
I gave her that interest. I showed interest in what she needed to get off her chest, what she felt. I sit there and I listen. And I just gave her that that attention that she needed. And sometimes that that it can be as simple as that. It can be as simple as you actually telling someone how you feel and how you you're overwhelmed with this and that and just life and and, and getting that off your chest. You know, I hope that made her feel better. She had a big smile on her face when we finished the conversation. And when we was leaving out of the gym, she was smiling. And um, so, yeah, I, I'm glad I was there to do that. And maybe that's all she needed to put that extra little spark back in her day and make her feel like 100%. You know, I don't, I didn't, I don't know this woman and actually this was the first time i've taken a class with her i i was trying to remember if i've seen her around the gym before and i it just didn't pop in my head but i was like well i'm just glad i was here for her today for her to just vent for that little few minutes after we finished because we both was tired <laughs> we was just sitting there on the bleachers just trying to get our breath before we headed out you know and did whatever else we had going on for the day and uh like I said, I just simply asked her, how did she, did she enjoy the class? How did she like the class? That was it. And she sit there for the next minute, two minutes, three at the most. Real short, no details, but just told me, you know, how she was feeling. So yeah, but yeah, you got, you got to have peace and it should be a requirement. And you should accept nothing less than that. And you have to put that focus in on yourself. You have to set boundaries. You have to let people know that you get tired too and you need time to yourself sometimes. It's no different than what anyone else may have going on. You know, you can't always be that anchor for, for, for others. You can't always be the anchor for other people. You have to, you know, make sure you're good. And that's all I say. And, you, you know, when you're doing that, just look at this as this is a part of my self-care that I need to do. This is my time to take care of self. And that's what I'm gonna do. So just, you know, just do that. And don't feel any kind of way, you know, how people may, you know, accept or not accept. You know, but this is what you have to do. And you have to stand on, when you put it out there, you have to stand on it. And, and, and it, let it be what it be, what it is. And that's it, okay? All right, guys, Grant, I'm about to get up out of here because I'm about to go in somewhere and, and chill, just relax. But I hope y'all have a great rest of the day and week. And I will check y'all out next time around.